Hickok 45 here, and I'm ready to shoot something. Let me see if I can, uh, where's the grip on this thing? Oh, there it is, grip zone, found it. <laughs> I found it, it says grip zone right there. Yes, big 45 slugs. Mod 2 grip zone to be specific. Let's put one in there that has a few more rounds in it. Shoot that pan. I'll tell my wife I'm shooting one of her soup pans there. <laughs> they just make good targets. I can't help it. And look what else I have. A propane tank. It finally bit the dust. I bought it in 98, I think. Time flies. And I refilled it about a million times, but they tell me it needs reworking. And it was going to cost, I don't know, 50 bucks or something to do it. I said, just leave it in the truck and I'll make a target out of it. <laughs> yes, like that. <laughs> and you notice there's a Glock sticker on it. It's been on there for a decade. You think it's appropriate we shoot the Glock sticker with a Springfield? <laughs> hey, dead center, Springfield. Oh. Springfield doesn't like that Glock sticker. <laughs> Look at that, hit it again. Yeah. <laughs> and old Springfield can be pretty accurate when he wants to be, can he? When he needs to be to pick on a Glock. Okay, that's foolishness. Yeah, this is the uh, the Ma 2 Springfield. You've seen it in the 9mm. This is the 45 just out recently. Uh, I guess it was announced at SHOT Show. We handled it there and uh, obtained one when we got back. So uh, yeah, the little gun, fairly small and a 45 caliber. And uh, you can check out the other uh, Mod 2 Grip Zone video we, we did not too long ago. And uh, showed the grip, talked about the grip, and might talk about it some more. They really did improve the grip on the XD, okay? Uh, I don't care who you are. I think if you pick up the two, and we had both of them, the old and the new in the, the other video, you have to uh, conclude, I believe, that this one just, just feels good. It, it really does. It feels good. And uh, that's even more important, I guess, with a 45, because with a 45, guess what happens? You get a little bit more jump. Then you do a little more kick, a little more recoil than you do with a 45 or with a 9mm. Brilliant, aren't I? Yeah, you do get a little bit more. Okay, and in a small gun. Uh, one thing I noticed about this, so uh, not a lot of, uh, I guess, new news on it. This uh, Mod 2 grip zone has been out a while, but uh, it is it is uh, grippy and feels good. They got all the texture in the right place. But uh, one thing I did notice when I shot this for the first time, uh, this is yesterday, I... Uh, I was uh, I was able to hit with it. Now, I may not today, but I was pleased. That's one of the tests I do when I, I get a firearm. I just I load it up. Well, I usually clean it, put the ballast all on it and all that. But I, I just load it up and shoot it. Sometimes just with one hand. Say, okay, let's see where the sights are on this thing. If they're anywhere close, uh, how hard is it going to be to shoot? And, and uh, I, I, the first couple of shots, I hit the red plate with it. Uh, you know, that, that sort of thing. So... Okay, sights are on. Uh, looks like I'm not going to be able to uh, use that as an alibi. <laughs> so, trigger is, is okay. It's not my favorite striker fired trigger, but it's not bad. Uh, it, it breaks pretty far back, and it's got a little bit of a kind of a creep. It, the reset's okay, but it, I don't know, it's got a little bit of a weird, weird creep in it which is more magnified when you're not shooting. And as I pointed out before, sometimes that, that really is the case with a firearm. You pick up the firearm and try the trigger and you think, oh, I don't know about that. But when you get ammo in it and start shooting it, it's not quite as bad. And uh, that's kind of typical for the Springfields uh, in my experience, okay? I think I better not shoot that propane tank uh, anymore with 45. They're not really going through it, are they? Yeah, they're not going into it. So let me double check that. Yeah, so they're bouncing off in the gravel there, but I don't want them. I don't want them bouncing off at me, even though I have a hard head. So uh, we'll move it further away when we uh, start pumping the four, uh, 45s into it. Okay. Big bullets sometimes will have less penetration on metal uh, things like that. 
But now on cinder blocks, it's a different matter. <laughs> Just depends, doesn't it? Okay, now after I told you uh, this thing uh, had the sights right on, watch me not be able to hit anything. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's not malfunctioned on me yet. Okay, I always like to <laughs> keep up on that. Now you get this longer magazine with it, which is the same mag that comes with the big 45s, you know, which I have one of those from my other gun. Uh, but it has that sleeve on it. And uh, it does fit well, I have to say it locks right in there. So you, you have a large grip. Of course, then you don't have a small gun, but uh, as a backup, if you're carrying this gun, you know, having a, a longer mag is what you'd might want to carry if you're going to carry an extra magazine okay and you got your usual stuff you got your loaded chamber indicator cocked indicator and all that you know it's uh, the xd uh yeah good feeling little piece of hardware i have to say and it uh with the 45 slug it, it it's pretty comfy to shoot Boom. let's try the new plates recently repaired I don't know where to hit that last one. I don't even see the hit, but he got him low. Okay, yeah, I like a more solid hit there. I want to feel better about that. There's a 12 ounce up there. Let's check the uh, sights on that thing. I'm going to hold right on the bottom of it. Okay, let's see if we can take him off there. Whoa, I tell you what, it's like a cowboy movie, huh? Ah, well, I shouldn't have said I hit the red plate, should I? Then I put the monkey on my back. Well, let's try one over there. under it there we go let's go ahead and try the chicken it won't fire there's something wrong with it oh it's out of ammo happens to the best of them have one more magazine all right mr chicken I'm not going to waste too much lead on you <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to waste too much lead. Let's go wake up the gong. If we can hit the chicken, we can hit the gong, of course. Or we can miss the gong, too. <laughs> hey, get overconfident. Let's try a pig. An oinker. Okay. Trying to scare him. <laughs> and since we're slinging 45 slugs, let's see if we can knock over a ram. Ugh. Darn this thing, you have to hit them or they won't fall. Oh, pull that one. So, good little shooter and the uh, sights seem right on. We'll load up a couple more. We won't wear it out here. Uh, first video or only video, I don't know. But, uh, uh, where's this thing fit, do you think? Uh, you know, we, as we went over in the other one, you know, you got nice, uh, sight, better sights on the, these, uh, upgraded XDs now and the better grip. They're a little bit, there's a better gun in general. And, uh, where it fits, I don't know. I've got the holster. They send with it. Just thought I'd stick that on there. Uh, it's, it's okay. Uh, if you're going to carry a, a gun like this, a belt gun on your belt, uh, as I compare this, I, maybe I should have gotten out the XDS 45. It's what thinner, uh, a little, little smaller, but what's the negative? It only holds what five in the magazine, you know. So it's a five plus one. And one thing I am impressed with this gun, I'm telling John, uh, the magazine holds nine rounds. That grip is not very long, you know, at all. And not only does it hold nine, I noticed. Uh, I was really ready for it because you know that's what you get with a lot of Glocks. You know, have a like especially with the Glock 30 and 30s and those variety when you're the, many of the 45 uh, Glock magazines. And I love Glock magazines; they're like utterly reliable. But uh, uh, sometimes you just have to load them down. Though. 
that last round, you've got to stand on it to get it in there. And even if you can get it in there, it makes it difficult to operate the pistol. So I, I load a lot of those down one round. But that was this one's pretty simple. In fact, I think I loaded it the first time with my bare fingers. And, uh, you know, the last round, simple to get in there. So that was a pleasant surprise because 9 plus 1, let's go ahead and put that other one in there. I was looking for a thumb safety as if there's a safety on it. Okay, it's hot. It's okay. It's pointing down range. There we go. Let me put it in a holster. Because you know what's going to happen. When I shoot those 10 rounds, I'm going to wish I had a few more. I'll tell you, whether you carry a 45 or not, uh, whether you uh, kneel at the author of the 45 ACP, as some people do, <laughs> or not, you have to admit it's fun to shoot uh, these big old 230 grain uh rounds they're fun what have we not done away with here okay oh we have ammo in here what am i doing let's just go ahead and uh let's shoot the stop sign oh, how about the uh tree boy it whips those around and oh, caught that one on the edge I'm gonna fix him. Yeah. Yep, no question there. Sometimes the old nine doesn't bring them around. I always forget about that guy down there. Yeah. <laughs> kind of fun to see him go. And see you go too, buddy. Yeah, and you too. <laughs> oh, that pot needs a couple more holes in it. Now maybe my wife can use it for a strainer instead of to, uh, to heat soup in. How's that? Think she'll fall for that? Okay, what else needs uh, 230 grains of lead on it? How about a, whoa, how about that ram over there I never did take down? No, still didn't want to go down. There we go. How about you, Mr. Turkey? faster sometimes it should do it when you're trying for a precision shot out there it's silly to to shoot that fast but but it's fun you know i mean that's that's why we shoot uh mainly it's uh it's fun so anyway no problems with this baby and uh, i don't mean to act surprised that i haven't had any problems but i like to point that out whether we have or not uh because sometimes we'll have an issue in you know in the video and uh, sometimes one maybe before the video and not in the video so i always like to to bring that to you what the handgun or rifle is doing or shotgun if we've had any issues with it and uh so you can make an intelligent buying decision as you are evaluating all these various guns it's a jungle out there there's so many different firearms there's not a lot of difference is there uh among them sometimes I, you know it'd be hard for me it is hard for me uh and i have a lot of experience shooting with a lot of different firearms so I know if you're just getting into shooting and you go and you look at this and you pick that up and you, gosh, you pick up a Ruger, you pick up two or three other models of Springfield and Glocks and there's not that much difference in the size and the way they operate. It, it's just difficult. I, I understand. Uh, I feel your pain. You just need to shoot them as much as you can. And uh, in addition to, to watching our videos and believing everything I say, right? <laughs> well, yeah, you really ought to believe it and it may not be... Uh, uh, credible but at least believe what i'm saying at least believe that i believe what i'm saying is true how's that no i know i know what you face and it's really really difficult the, the display cases are full of guns that look a lot like this and all you can do is just feel it uh, if it feels good to you and it's in a caliber you want and if you get a chance to shoot it you know that that's that takes you way up the ladder in terms of uh, decision making and uh, just don't get something too small. That's a mistake a lot of people make. A firearm at least this size is, uh, is easier to shoot than a smaller one, no doubt about it. So anyway, uh, you know, the grip zone, uh, there's, there's not a lot of uh, thinking that's required with this firearm because you're directed where to grip it. It says right there on the grip and uh, it shoots well, it feels good. So uh, if you get a chance to try this one, I would try to 
you know, get it, I would try to shoot it if you can at a range somewhere, rental range. If uh, you're right now trying to evaluate, you know, pistols and you know, which one to buy, that kind of. And this comes in, I think, nine and forty-five, what forty? It's either in forty or it will be, of course. So um, I would imagine. So anyway, the uh, the Mod Two in forty-five, three point three. It's a pretty nice little pistol. Life is good.